Yeah, I've had a love for uh, all things fast for a very long time, since I was a little, little boy, really. Um, you know, had the model cars, could never afford a real nice car. And, um, you know, growing up in a uh, neighborhood where I did, mum and dad had regular jobs uh, and kind of regular cars, to be honest. So my, uh, my first car was a Vauxhall Astra. Uh, I paid 300 pounds for the car. Uh, and it was a rust bucket, to be honest. You know, that, that was all I could afford back then in the day. Um, and I had another couple of clunkers after that as well, which uh, that car died not long after buying it. I bought 150 pounds, which is only 180 bucks, um, Ford Fiesta um, after a few months. So I had to buy another one. So, you know, I've, I've had some, some nasty cars through the years, but obviously, the, you know, once I got my tour card and started to play some really good golf. Uh, fortunate enough to then um, be able to treat myself to some nice toys. And, you know, I remember my first, um, my first real car was a Nissan GTR, uh, R34 back in the day, blue, big, bl big blue spoiler on the back. Um, and really from that point on, you know, wanted to always be driving something quick, something cool, um, and obviously moved on to uh, a fair collection today. And in a very, you know, I'm, I'm in a very privileged position to be able to afford some, some of the world's best cars, which is, uh, you know, more than a dream. You know, my, my passion for Ferrari has um, been pretty, pretty strong. Um, been all the way back to a 1967 275. You know, the supercars, the LaFerrari, which is the modern day supercar of today, of Ferrari, uh, 963 horsepower. Who's not gonna enjoy driving one of those? So all of their cars collectively, I really enjoy. Um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to hopefully adding to the collection. So I jumped into the Porsche scene last year. Uh, new to Porsche for me, I started off with a GT3 and uh, a very good friend of mine who, um, who owns the dealership here in Orlando, they just, he said, would you, would you like one of the new two RSs? So, of course, um, I said yes. It's a car which is obviously a very iconic car and um, one that I've only driven for 180 miles, but it's been, it's been incredible. I've known about paint protection film for a very long time. I had it on a couple of cars many years ago, um, but over the last few years, it, it's, it's come on leaps and bounds. So, you know, for me, as soon as I got um, the first LaFerrari, I wanted to protect it, um, you know, from any kind of stone chip. And funnily enough, I was driving it home from the dealership. I heard, a, I heard a little noise, I got home, I parked it in the garage and I could see a tiny little stone chip on the front carbon splitter. Um, and it was at that point, I reached out to my detailer, I reached out to Dave and I said, look, you know, I don't really wanna drive the car anymore until I've got it fully covered. And he said to me, you know, use the SunTech film. Um, and that's what we did. Uh, we did. We did the LaFerrari, we did the Aperta, done the TDF, and I've done the Ford GT. So we've covered, uh, we've covered a portion of the collection and I wanna, I wanna obviously get all of them done at some stage. Dave has been doing uh, the installs. You know, I like the way, the attention to detail and uh, it is a long process looking at how the install gets done, but you have to be a perfectionist. Uh, you have to have it right. And um, you know, I'm, I'm super happy with you know, all of the all of the install job that he's done so far. Yeah, the, Sun, the SunTech product on the cars has been great from a perspective of uh, stopping the stone chips, uh, which I hate, uh, can't stand. I mean, I actually picked one up on the Porsche pre-install, you know, in only about 120 miles or 100, 100 miles on the car, and I pick up a tiny little rock chip on the, on the top, uh, top piece of the carbon fiber on the roof, which was really disappointing. So, uh, the stone chip beat me to covering the car at that stage. So, 
you know, for me, it's, it's about making sure that when I take the cars on the road, I don't pick up any silly little stone chips like that. Brand reputation for me is, is a big thing. You know, I, I like quality cars and, you know, I've aligned myself with um, brands that I like to be associated with. So of course I would uh, recommend SunTech. I mean, I've got it on my cars and if it's, uh, if it's good enough for my cars, it's good enough for anyone's cars.